Hello and welcome to today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin, your host, and thank you for joining me for our 30-day installment of our 30-day Tesseract Dice YouTube slash Kickstarter campaign, where for 30 days, we're talking about the science behind our Tesseract Dice, and today we're gonna talk about the Newton die and everything Isaac Newton did to contribute to the world of science, including answering the question, what is gravity? Newton was and is one of the greatest intellectual minds of all time. He was a little crazy, however. He was the inventor of calculus, invented the study of optics, identified the laws of motion, and proposed a unified theory of gravity as well. This is all great and has seriously added to our understanding of the universe, but Newton also locked himself in a room for weeks on end to study because he hated people, except for his best friend, whom he may have had underlying homosexual feelings towards and felt guilty about those feelings. And that man was supposedly the man who helped him invent calculus. I say invent calculus, I mean add more to calculus than what had already been discovered, and we'll talk about that in a few days. Newton also studied how light worked and was perceived by stabbing himself in the eye with a needle. He also supposedly had the brilliant moment where he unified gravity with the other forces when an apple fell on his head, which is almost definitely a myth, but it helped him understand gravity theoretically. So what is gravity and how does gravity work? Well, this is the equation for what gravity looks like. It is directly related to how massive two objects are and the pull grows exponentially weaker over distance. The rule is that every particle is attracted to every other particle. If you put two objects objects in space, they would move towards each other faster and faster the closer they got, and the more mass of the two objects, the greater the force between them. However, on Earth, there are so many particles, so much mass on the Earth side of the equation, that it basically doesn't matter how massive an object is. When falling, they will hit at nearly exactly the same time. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin, your host, and thanks again for joining us for a 30-day installment of our Tesseract Dice YouTube campaign, where for 30 days we're talking about the science of the Tesseract Dice, and make sure to check in tomorrow when we're going to be talking about Charles Darwin.